Tonight from Vegas, we find out who succeeds Birgit Norikes, last year's USBC Queens champion. Maria Jose Rodriguez is the two seed. Carlene Beyer, third seed, two hours north of Milwaukee, Ogdensburg, Wisconsin. Victory 202 170 in her first ever pro TV appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number two seed from Colombia, Maria Jose Rodriguez. <laughs> The long, and we mean long, journey back from broken toe is finally complete for Maria. It took forever to heal up and get back to 100%, get back to herself. Now she's back on TV. Off to a great start. I need another chummy. This is, yeah, yeah. All smiles now for Maria. Carly is all about repetition. Okay. Yes. Trip 10 pin down it goes. As we saw, Carlene's ball rep, Nathan Bohr, is Maria's husband. <laughs> Interesting role tonight for Nathan. Am I right, CDB? Oh my God, you are definitely right. And I went up to Nathan. Dell and I have been standing here talking. I go, man, he is in a terrible position. So I said, it's lovely when you make the TV show and you know that your husband is helping your opponent who you're trying to beat. So I said to Nathan, I'm going to ask you, how does it feel? And he goes, it sucks. And I said, yes, it does. I hate to say that on TV, but honestly, it did suck. But here's the key. Because she's such a great bowler, he said if she does her job, it oh won't gosh. matter. Oh they are definitely in the middle. He's helping both bowlers. But it is kind of hard when you know it's your wife. Lucky miss there for Bayer. Boy, CDB, you and Dell here, a couple of Hall of Famers watching this. It's an interesting evening for sure for Nathan. Of course, rooting so hard for Maria to win, but <laughs> repping oh dear. Carlene, I mean, tough. Right, Kelly, what are you Find doing? Me. There, uh, there is a win situation here. Obviously, there are two staff members and everything. If someone's going to get to the final, so that's one great thing. Second thing, Carlene's looking for a first title. Maria's looking for her third title and a third major in her book. You know, I got to think that the ring around the finger has a little bit of weight and bearing for things to start going her way. Right lane for Maria. It's got to really hurry up. Just enough. And the seven. Timber. Down it goes late. Yeah, so Carlene catches the lucky break on the left lane. Maria start to wiggle out a little bit to the right. Let's see if we get a better look at this shot right here. She's taking her five-step approach. Drops the ball in step number two, where it should be. Third step, fourth step should be quick. Now, she's a little bit more upright. I'd love to see a little bit more knee bend here, maybe because she's kind of favoring that toe or not 100% back to what she used to be. Obviously, she had to learn to walk again. She's still going to try to find her A game all over again. But it looks pretty solid right there. She opens up with three in a row. August 31st after the Worlds was injured here in Vegas, as we talked about, with a broken big right toe. It took until December 9th of 2022 to feel 100%. That long before she really felt herself again and talked about learning how to walk again. Tried to push through the pain, went through several foot specialists, finally found the right one with the right treatment to heal it. Now she can play golf and run and she's 100%. Golf finally. being her favorite thing to do. Really good golfer. Fire. Six pin. You could hear, she said push. Push, push, push. Now, interesting, both athletes on the show tonight have the most rotation, highest rev rate of all five women on the telecast tonight. But now you're starting to see them migrate and play a little bit more left to right or inside and out. Marie was able to get it back. You can see she's still sliding. Once she releases the ball, 15. Swing is about 8 to about 6, 7. So again, a little bit more left to right, but you can see this ball really start to change direction more. Oh, get it, please. Please. Watch out. Just missed it by a whisker. 
The ball didn't listen to Carlene there, an open frame. For the two-time individual state bowling champion, Little Wolf High School in Manawa, Wisconsin. Before that brilliant career at SFA we told you about. How does she bounce Don't back? Know. Yes. Pretty well. Goodness gracious, I didn't even think that had a chance to make either. it back to the one three pocket. Gonna say something there is so far right close to the channel. Look at this, missing left to right. Whoa, extreme, extreme right. Everything is pushing that way. We have not seen any recovery. You'll see she's just gonna tickle the one three pocket. Talk about the scrambler. Maria for the front four. Comes in high. Baby split instead with the 310. When we interviewed Maria, most of her competitors were lefties, right? So she was able to groove in the lane for herself or take advantage of the right handers that she had to compete against. Now we're seeing a lot of built in hook immediately in the front part and the first 20 feet of the lane. All the oil is still in the middle, so the ladies again have to continue to move inward. They have to move left and now starting creating a little bit of angle towards the pocket or again, straighter linear motion closer to the head pin. Oh my God, I made it! She liked it. <laughs> she knew it. Maria told us last night she's not the same person, the same bowler from before the injury to now. Yeah. She's changed her game a lot, her approach. Finally, healthy as we talk about. Sometimes you just know it off your hand, right, Cal? You do, you do. And her body definitely is healthier. She's got, you know, full function of her, of her slide and everything. She has her knee taped up because now that she's able to build in that groove and get more athleticism into her push off and into that slide, her knee started to swell a little bit. So she's just being compensating for that, taking care of that as well. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, Almost makes it back to carry out that seven pin. Just seven. We asked her last night, what's the best part of your game right now? She said, I'm finally healthy. That's it. I'm healthy. I feel good. Yeah. I mean, you know, from all your years, Kelly, our Hall of Fame success, winning this event twice, you, you bowl hurt a lot, right? You do. And anytime you're battling an injury, you make a compensation for it. Watch out. Just enough. There's the 910 Eastern. Don't miss the return of the WNBA on CBS Sports Network. Rating champs right here in Vegas. The Aces battle Los Angeles Sparks. Catch the tip off here on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Aces and Sparks each a 1-0 start to the season. Aces beat Seattle. That way beat the Mercury. How great is it to see Brittany Griner back? Fabulous. Incredible. And she's what playing fantastically. What a story. Did she score 50 points the other night? Push. Amazing. Carried. Fire. Yes. Oh, yeah. Looking good. 60 feet to success for the three seed. Not going anywhere. Now, halfway through the match, Byers only down by 10. That six pin couldn't come back to haunt her, unfortunately. Single pin spare is something that should be made often all the time. But these two women are actually helping each other. They're both in the same part of the lane. They're both getting the same reaction. So they're actually benefiting each other from from where they're playing. Get there. Left go, lane. Go, 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 go. Really had a hurry. Okay. And he's a 10 pin. Okay. Uh, Kel, she told us last night at the ITC at South Point across town here in Vegas, her last collegiate shot, her SFA team trying to get to the show fell short. She left a two pin. She really wanted to come back to Vegas and perform again on TV, try to exercise the demon of the end of her collegiate career. She has done that and then some tonight. Well, if you also recollect too, she said her goal at the Queen was just to make match play. And here she's at the show in the semifinal match. Well exceeded. Good job. You, go. you know she's got it. She tells everybody. She does. She's only down by 11 pins in this semifinal match. Maria Jose Rodriguez working on a spare in the sixth frame. Tune in to see who advances to that championship match. Sixth back. frame for Maria. Back to a really exciting match here. 
Two-time major champ, up 11. Mm. She liked that shot too. She really did. Off her hand, she thought it was better. Tough conversion, the 3, 4, 6, 10, a lot up. Yeah, now she's moving in. You can see the colors in the ball start to migrate, just check up sooner. So it's it's really, it has to, they have to jump a little bit now. It's not so much creeping because of the pattern, now it's jump. Four stands, open frame. Match changer. Carlene Byer on the bench is now up four pins. Her seven three works on a spare. The win probability <laughs> flips quickly. Ooh, Good shot, six ten pin. pin. You can see it just go from vertical to horizontal, wraps itself right around that ten pin. Excellent shot. Means the ball is storing more energy. Kicking a little bit harder in the back portion of the lane. You can see now she's about 10-11 at the arrows. Watch that six pin. Just say, nope, not going to touch you. Has the 10. Nearly 2014 Queens champion. Unfortunately, Kettle's against you. And it was a wild day, right? I mean... Yeah, there was a storm back east, and there mm -hmm. were some electronical or electrical uh, difficulties on the truck. We had a slight pause, and I was striking when the match started, and oh. when the match re came back on, and I didn't strike much off of that. So it's not fair. It was, uh, you know, just dealing with the elements, and it happens. Maria's got to bounce back. She's going to have to finish on that right lane too, I believe. Up four, big shot, seven frame. Yes. Great shot. And the difference between the two women, both are playing almost in the same zone, but based on her axis rotation, Carlene meaning it kind of has a little bit more, more of a spinner type motion, clears through that front and middle portion of the lane. Maria has a heavy roll. You could see, now watch off her hand. She has the ball spins a little bit more, almost like a dreidel and it's almost in the exact same portion of the lane, so by spinning it or having more axis rotation, axis tilt actually what it is, is what creates the ball to hold and store energy much longer down the lane. Oh no. Didn't like it. Good shot. Up 14, big strike in the eighth frame. Yeah, I think um, see a little bit, her brain has to start slowing down things a little bit. You know, take a little bit more time on each shot. I know she's thinking about her routine, but all she did, yes, she did miss inward, but she missed inward and more volume and more body on the lane. It held for that long period of time. Kind of caught off by surprise herself. She'll take it, gladly. Maria needs a bounce back. Does just that. Great shot, right lane. To challenge the youngster. With a strike in the eighth frame. 14, eight to about six. Heavy roll forward. Yeah, that's the difference. They're just rotation. Their tilt is much different from one bowler to the next. Imagine Maria being the tire tread, all tire tread on the lane. Whereas Carlene, it's like almost going off a side rip and, you know, one of those stunt doubles where half the car is on the ground, the other half isn't. High and well, six a nudge, but stands. So 6'10 here. Really big shot. Could have cut it to four pins in the ninth. Carlene gets the ball to hold that deep inside. She's about 10 to 12. Unfortunately, it's not for Maria. 6-10 takes care of that. Also won the 2018 PWBA Tour Championship. Richmond, Virginia, right next to the racetrack. Old Dominion building, what a fabulous setting that was for women's bowling. Huge crowds. Yeah, that was another one where I finished second, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Did want to bring that one up. 246 max score for Carlene. Sorry, Cal. Ninth frame looking for three Runner in a row. up is great. <laughs> I got there. That's all that matters. You're in the Hall of Fame. Looking for three in a row, extending her lead. Looking for a 24 pin lead. Whoa, watch out. Very good. Come on. 
Three, four, six, seven. Split. This is trouble. This is where I tell if I, if I was a, a ball rep right now, I tell her slow down. Slow down. Goes a little bit more left to right. Create gets it to the right faster. So again, more hook right there. She's got to slide the ball to the outside of the three pin, hoping it slides it to the four seven. Whoops. Big conversion. Oh. Four seven up. Open frame. This late changes the match again. Suddenly she's down four pins. Our yeah. Topsy turvy match flips again here. Yeah. So Max score now 208 for her, 212 for Maria. Tenth frame is going to be the one that calls it to see who advances on to that championship match to take on Lindsay Boomershine for that Queen's tiara. Lindsay has never won a PWBA Tour title. Great career. Awaits the winner of this one. But on the last shot. Left lane for Bayer. Four seven. Much more aggressive with her speed, slightly inside her target again. Yeah, this is again, I would just tell herself, take a deep breath. Slow your mind down a little bit. Think about the shot. She did miss a single pin earlier. Had she made that six pin, it possibly could have changed the scenario and its outcome. Oh, no. Watch it. Enough for the 4 7. There would have been curtains in the match if she'd missed. Last it was a good last shot. Yeah, good fill ball. Now this determines what Maria is going to leave on her first shot in the 10th frame. She needs 17 pins to fill, but it all depends on what she does on the first ball in the 10th frame. Hopefully it's not the last entry in the journal here at the Queens. Yep, eight spare nine count. She advances on. The one who takes the tiara, the trophy, big prize money, a major championship. He's a good pocket shot here. Gets it! First ball, massive for Maria. And she delivers. She's now just seven pins. Seven pins will do it for her. Seven pins and two deliveries. 13 years, Team Columbia. After six for Junior Team Columbia. An incredible career representing her country. Now lives in Austin, Texas. Seven to win it. Seven. When we come back, Emil Williams Jr. will take us to the first two stops of the 2023 PWBA Tour. Exciting action so far on tour. Great action here tonight in Vegas. Maria Jose Rodriguez through to the final.